Hello scholars, welcome back. Mr. Hinkle here. Today we're going to talk about the age of the earth and spoiler alert, 4.6 billion years old. That's a long time. Let's talk about how we got there and how we know it. So we're gonna discuss the history, not every part of it, but a little bit, and then the evidence that supports this proclamation, this widely held belief, this theory for the age of the earth, 4.6 billion years old. I'll say it once, twice, say it a bunch. So how old is the earth? What a good question. When did the earth begin? I don't know. You tell me. 4.6 billion years. So people have been asking this question for a very long time. And it wasn't until science got into a certain point where we had specific techniques that we could actually place a numerical value. And this is relatively recent, within the last 100 years or so. So the history of Age of the Earth, lots of people have been trying to understand, but there's a few individuals that came out and said, this is how old the earth was. And a sign of the times, the Archbishop James Usher, as pictured here, used the Old Testament and the individuals in the Old Testament of the Bible to put an actual age. He said that the earth formed in 4004 before Christ, BC, about 6,000 years ago. So this was back in the 16th century. Well, the 16th century also saw the scientific revolution. Big strides were made in geology and as well as many other sciences, including this individual, William Thompson. He's also known as Lord Kelvin, credited for the Kelvin temperature scale. Yep, with absolute zero being zero. Um, so 19th century, 1862, he's using physics to calculate the age of the earth. And what he did was he took Claudius Ptolemy, who created the geocentric model of the universe and did all kinds of things, created the first uh, coordinate system using uh, latitude and longitude, which made the basis of geolocation for all of our maps today. Well, he also, Ptolemy that is, calculated the circumference of the earth, which Lord Kelvin used to calculate how old the earth was based on what he believed the size and the cooling rates were. So this is now using our earth to calculate how old it is. Well, he said it was somewhere between 20 and 400 million years old, estimating it to be about 98 million. So uh, previous kind of in between James Usher and Lord Kelvin was James Hutton, the father of modern geology. And while he didn't say this is how old the earth is, he created this idea of geologic time, that the earth is old, that whatever has been happening has been happening for a long time, no uh, prospect of a beginning, no vestige of an end, no way to tell when the earth was actually made. Well, that was in the 17th century with what he had. Fast forward, 20th century, we get Claire Patterson using a technique that looks at the chemistry of the minerals. It's called radiometric dating, radioisotope dating, where you can actually calculate the decay rates of certain unstable isotopes, and the decay rates are constant, you measure those and the proportions of uh, parent to daughter atoms inside a given sample and boom, bam, pow, what do you know? We have an age. So in the 1950s, Claire Patterson calculates the earth to be 4.55 billion years old, plus or minus around 70 million, far outweighing any current held beliefs of how old the earth was. And this was a radical new view on the age of the earth. And it turns out he was pretty spot on, not only with his calculations, but also with his measurements to get us to the age of the earth. How old is earth? 4.6, and this is a billion with a B, 
billion years. Okay, so we have this technique called radiometric age dating that places an absolute or a numerical value on given minerals inside of rocks. So the oldest mineral <clears throat> is located in a crystal within a metamorphic rock. It's a zircon. Zircon is a mineral. And the rock is located in the Jack Hills of Western Australia. Inside of this rock type, it's called a metaconglomerate, aka stretch petal. And these minerals date back to being about 4.4 billion years old. So you might be saying this math doesn't add up. You said the age of the Earth was 4.6, but these minerals are 4.4. And then we go to the Earth's oldest rock, which is about 4.0 billion years old, which is the Acast and Ice in the Northwest Territories of Canada. <clears throat> So, okay, mineral, which is zircon, rock, which is nice, <clears throat> and then fossils, Earth's first life, stromatolites, fungal mats of cyanobacteria that have been preserved in the rock records forever, still surviving today. Sharks Bay gives us a modern example. The preserved version, fossilized version, first fossils, we're talking 3.5 billion years old. We're going to say billion, billion. The shorthand for billion years old is GA, not BA as you would think. Okay, so again, Earth 4.6. Mineral, 4.4. Rock, 4.0. Fossils, 3.5. Well, it is Earth's oldest meteorite. And there's multiple meteorites that all point right around this 4.56, rounded to 4.6 million, or billion, excuse me, age. But the Diablo Canyon, or the Canyon Diablo meteorite, is one of the best lines of evidence and most well-studied rocks from our solar system. And the idea is this. Rocks from the asteroid belt between the inner four rocky planets and the outer four Jovian planets are, were created at the same time that the material that made up the Earth was. But Earth was able to sweep its orbit clear and form a planet. So we use rocks from space, from our solar system, meteorites when they land on Earth to represent, to indicate the age of early Earth because early Earth in those first few hundred million years was recycling all of the material because it started as a big hot homogeneous ball of material and then you have density stratification into the core mantle crust and then as Earth started to cool, the surface of the Earth formed its first continents, preserving some of these ancient minerals and rocks. But that took a while to begin. So we know the age of the Earth, or we interpret the age of the Earth through meteorites. And we use radiometric age dating, looking at unstable isotopes within these meteorites to place numerical dates on specific rocks, thus giving us the age of the Earth 4.6 billion years old. Thank you so much.